Hey guys, this is Jesse Insanity, and today I'm going to teach you how to do super bouncing in Halo 2 on the Master Chief Collection in the year 2021. So, first off, there is a program that you can download on this GitHub, which I'll have in the description for you. It's by a man named Daylons. Daylons. And essentially, you just download the MCC Bounce Enable. After you download it, you have to load Master Chief Collection with Easy Anti Cheat um, disabled. So in Steam, it should show these two options when you load it up from Steam. You have to select the bottom one. Um, also, you start up a custom game, and when you start up a custom game, there's the program looks like this. So if you're using a controller, you press left bumper and right bumper to activate it, and for mouse and keyboard, it's alt plus zero. Or you can alt tab and click enable, but... I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it in real time. So give me one moment. We're going to go ahead and get rid of all this. And we are going to start up the Master Chief Collection. Now keep in mind, every time that Master Chief Collection gets updated, there is a chance that it can stop working. That means that something has changed in the system that like stops it from working properly. But most of the time they figure out how to fix it. And there's multiple uh, programs and multiple ways of doing this. They all do relatively the same thing, which is it messes with the tick rate because the original games had a 30 tick rate, whereas the upgraded ones have 60. When they upgrade to 60, it stopped the game from allowing you to super bounce. So, what we're going to do, we're start up a, oh, not a social, custom game. Halo 2, Halo 2 Classic. We're going to go ahead and do, let's do a bit long. Now, the greatest thing about this is there's so many different custom game th options for Halo 2. So, for example, I have the skull options on Feather, um, Movement Physics, um, let's see, Sputnik, which makes massive objects decreased. And these together, um, let's see, Feather, no, oh, boom, there you go. Explosion radius will increase. With all those combined, you can essentially help yourself get back into certain areas to do bounces easier. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start it up. Alright, so... While it's loading... We're in game. And actually, I don't even need to. I gotta make sure that I have it open, which I do. And then I press left bumper and right bumper, because I'm using a controller. Let me make sure that works. Yep. So it's enabled now. You also notice that double shotting is a lot easier because of the frame rate change. Or the uh, tick rate change. So I messed up. Come on. There we go. And there you go. The greatest thing about this is. You don't need to cap your frame rate in order for these to work. So I'm running um, like 122 FPS. Oh, 
Wow, that was first try. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I look forward to seeing you super bouncing again back in Halo 2. Um, I have a Discord in case you guys need to contact me if you're having any problems. Mine is the uh, same as my YouTube channel with the hashtag. What is my hashtag? Honestly, I forget it. <laughs> One second. So mine is Jesse Insanity hashtag 7996. I have my own Discord and I stream as well, but I really don't stream often. I'm working on that. But either way, you know, I look forward to seeing more people super bouncing. So I will catch you later. And one of the best things you can do with these new options is I can literally, well, commit suicide apparently. But that's not what I meant to do. <laughs> the potty flying. <laughs> one more thing. So you, you can do stuff like this, you know, if I can sit there and get back on top of the map or fall out of bounds. It helps you get back the spots to like the X building and stuff like that. Alright guys, I will catch you later. Peace out.